Like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Education is supposed to help us learn about important life fundamentals that we need to know to have a better life. However, education has a different meaning nowadays. While students focus on studying just so they can earn a degree, which supposedly will help them get better jobs, educators focus solely on making a profit. What education has turned into nowadays is not only something less beneficial, but also something very unhealthy. Teachers are burying the students under pages of lengthy notes, unending lectures, and constant exams, which is making students lose interest in learning. In addition, such burdensome classes leave very little to no time at all for students to spend on other things. However, many innovative thinkers are constantly trying to break out of this uninspiring education system to make learning interesting for everyone. Let's find out how these innovators are doing it. Number 10. Green School The Green School, located in Bali of Indonesia, was established in 2008 by two visionary innovators, John and Cynthia Hardy. They believe that teaching pupils while in close connection with the environment will improve their problem-solving skills, as well as their intelligence. Initially, many parents thought that learning close to nature could be a distraction for the students and were hesitant to admit their children in the green school. However, the private school proved to be a huge success and has nearly 500 students now. When they started in 2008, they had just 90 students. The international school enrolls students from pre-kindergarten to high school. The innovative campus emerged from the jungle and rice fields to become the greenest school on earth in 2012, as voted by the Center for Green Schools in the U.S. Green Building Council. The entire school building is primarily built using renewable resources Courses, such as bamboo, local grass, and traditional mud walls. The students also cultivate an organic garden as part of their learning activities. Although some of the high school students use laptops, the entire school is run on renewable energy sources, including microhydro power from a hydroelectric vortex and solar power. The Green School's high school students launched the BioBus that provides transportation for their students. The BioBus runs entirely on biodiesel made from used cooking oil. The architectural masterpiece, made mostly out of bamboo, was the finalist in the 2010 Aga Khan Award for architecture. Number 9. Big Picture Learning Big Picture Learning, located in Rhode Island, is one of the most innovative schools you will ever come across. They have taken a completely different approach towards education, where they believe that each student should learn based on their particular interests. They help students build their own curriculum that reflects and widens their ambitions. The educators believe that the best way to learn is to engage in real-life scenarios to make the learning experience more relevant to people and places. This means that the students spend a lot of time off-campus doing real-life training in the real world. For example, they work internships at the offices of lawyers, doctors, and banks, or they design studios. The possibilities are nearly endless and are based on their chosen area of learning. The students are required to exhibit their work every quarter to peers, parents, and teachers, where their progression and authenticity of work is assessed. This method of learning improves the performance of children. This is not a theoretical claim, as the school statistics prove that their on-time graduation rate is 90% against a 69.5% ratio of other schools. Moreover, their students have a college acceptance rate of 91%. Number 8. Orastad Gymnasium Situated in the Orastad district of Copenhagen in Denmark, Orastad High School is a public gymnasium which opened in 2005. It is called a gymnasium as many Europeans address high schools as gymnasiums. It is famous for its innovative architectural design that promotes studying in open spaces instead of conventional classrooms. The building is like an expensive glass cube with four study zones occupying one floor plan each. These drum-shaped zones are quite spacious which allows students to enjoy a relaxed learning environment and that in turn encourages them to assume an active role in their own education. The wide open setting is aimed to help students to collaborate and think more flexibly on diverse topics that may arise later in life. The students focus on media, communications, and culture, but are also offered creative subjects such as multimedia, media, or visual arts. This architectural masterpiece designed by 3XN won the Forum 8 Award in 2009. Number 7. Egalia Preschool the Egalia Preschool in Sudermalm, Sweden, is a revolutionary school that admits children from ages 1 to 6. Unlike other schools with innovative and modernist architecture, this school stands out because of its unprecedented philosophy. This unusual preschool refuses to use gender-specific terms to identify faculty and students. For example, instead of referring to one another as he or she, they refer to each other by their names, by friends, or by the Finnish pronoun hen, which is a gender-neutral word. Not only that, but the school does not even teach books that discuss or promote gender-specific roles and definitions. Nearly all books taught are about gay couples, adopted children, and single parents. The 
state-run school was founded in 2010 and was aimed towards giving children a wider choice of lifestyle and self-reflection, instead of limiting them to social expectations. Sweden has always been praised as the most equal country in the world when it comes to gender, and although the idea of this preschool has been called gender madness by some, many others appreciate this initiative and believe it would help free children from social expectations based on their sex. Number 6. Steve Jobs School Located in Sneek, Netherlands, this school has taken a different approach towards teaching. Instead of following the traditional guidelines of teaching, the Steve Jobs School provides iPads to their students with several applications installed that help them learn through a more interactive experience. Every student from the 4th to 12th grade learns at their own pace. Instead of everyone going through the same educational system, every student starts with an individual development plan that is updated every six weeks by the child, their parents, and the coach. Based on the assessment of their progress, the coach gives each student new instructions and challenges based on their personal requirements. The main ambition of the school is to exclude no child, to involve everyone in the learning process, and to help everyone perceive education in their own way, so that no one is left lagging behind. Number 5. Brightworks School the Brightworks School was opened in San Francisco, California by visionary Gever Tooley in 2011. They build a curriculum for the students out of things that their parents normally do not want them to do. This includes playing with fire, taking apart home appliances, getting dirty, and completing artwork all in the same day. The educators embrace and encourage the students to learn by making use of their unique set of skills and interests, and by involving the students in making up a curriculum just for them. They believe that this approach helps the children to get themselves more involved and engage in more activities, which helps to bring out the creative side of these children. The school enrolls students from grade K through 12. The school is built in a spacious warehouse which consists of all these items that helps the creative minds of these children to bloom. These include art and forts and makeshift theaters. The students learn from projects and experiments, which helps them gain knowledge in a more practical way. The main objective of the educators is to stay in close contact with the students, support them, and challenge them so that the youngsters can achieve the best version of themselves. Number 4. Carpe Diem Carpe Diem, situated in Arizona's Yuma, is one of the most successful schools in Arizona. The main hall, called the Learning Center, consists of 300 cubicles containing computers for each individual student. Firstly, the teachers assess the students and then provide the students with a curriculum based on their personal needs. Although the majority of the education is provided on computers, those who struggle to learn online are assisted by instructors. The school teaches students from grades 3 to 12. They believe that every student is different, and adjusting the curriculum and associated technology to their needs helps the student to be more successful. So far, their policy has actually been pretty successful, as they outperformed every school in the county in the Arizona Instrument for Measuring Standards for four consecutive years. While the average proficiency was 65%, Carpe Diem's proficiency was 92%. Number 3. Innova School Innova School was founded in 2011 by billionaire businessman Carlos Rodriguez Pastor, who wanted to provide a qualitative school for middle-class kids that was not too expensive like private schools and not as inferior as public schools. With the help of world-famous design firm EDO, he built 41 Innova schools that now serve nearly 31,000 students from grades K through 11. The school was a winner at the International Design Excellence Awards. The school relies on blended learning where they use both technology and guided independent study to teach the children. The students spend half the day in 30-person classrooms working through tasks such as problem solving and collaborating with minimal teacher input. The rest of the day is spent doing independent learning on online platforms. This helps the children to think more creatively, flexibly, and critically. Moreover, the kids are often brought out to study in the open so that they do not feel trapped and overwhelmed by their frequent use of laptops. To top it all, the monthly fee for the school is only $130. Number 2. Quest to Learn this New York City school, operating under the New York City Department of Education, has taken a very interesting approach towards providing education. The school enrolls students from 6th through 12th grade and teaches them using games, hands-on activities, and collaborative activities. The faculty includes teachers, game designers, and curriculum designers, who use games as rule-based learning systems, creating worlds in which players actively participate. The games require strategic thinking to make choices, solve complex problems, and seeks content knowledge. In addition, the games allow students to take on identities of explorers, mathematicians, writers, and several other professions, and go on quests. Quest to Learn was established in 2009 to use games and social media, which were apparently pushing students away from studies, to instead motivate students to learn in a much more fun environment. Number 1. Ron Clark Academy the Ron Clark Academy in Georgia of the United States tops our list as the most creative school you have ever heard of. 
It was established in 2007 by two Disney Outstanding Teacher Awards recipients, Ron Clark and Kim Bearden. This school does not only teach students in the most creative way, but is also built in the most creative way. The interior of the school looks magical, with beautiful decorations and a slide to travel from the second floor to the first. The school teaches 5th through 8th grade, and within these three years, the students go on about 30 field trips per year in the U.S., and to six out of seven continents. Just like we see in Harry Potter, the students are split up into different houses and they achieve points by completing whatever task the teacher asks them to do. The students are asked to participate in public speaking, perform dances, and sing to summarize the concepts they have learned. The Ron Clark Academy sets a very high standard of bringing creativity into education. That's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.